Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Getting back in after a couple days, so I gotta start off easy to just get my brain going here. Um, this one's super easy. I think it's new too. Uh, 1207, unique number of occurrences. Given an array of integers array, write a function that returns true if and only if the number of occurrences in e of each value in the array is unique. So they want, um, we have an array of integers, right? And we, this one's so easy. Um, we just want to check each number. And if the number of occurrences is unique for each number, then we return true. Otherwise we return false. So in this example, there are three ones, there are two twos, and there's one three. And those are all unique number of occurrences. So we return true. Um, Pretty self-explanatory. In this case, there's one, one, and one, two. Since one and two both occur once, that's not a unique number of occurrences, so we return false. Um, and then you can go through this example on your own. It's pretty long, so I don't really want to go through it. But how do we do this? I mean, it's pretty intuitive. There's no trick here. You have to use data. Um, you basically just use a hash map. To, you have to use data to have a linear runtime. You, know, you use a hash map. You count the number of occurrences. And then you just use a hash set and you make sure that uh, the unique value size is equal to the map size. So, you know, you put all the counts in a hash map, pretty standard, right? You, I'm sure you guys are familiar. Since this is for beginners, I would, I'll would, i just explain it um, as if you guys don't understand all of this stuff. But uh, basically, you have a hash map, which takes it's going to loop through our array and it's going to take the current number. So we're going to say, OK, let's declare our hash map. We're going to loop through the uh, array in, for int num in array, and we're going to say, we're going to put into the hash map the current number. So each number we're looking at, so we're going to put one or two or whatever number we're looking at, and then we're going to put the count of the number of times we've seen it. This hash map is going to hold, you know, the values like, well, there's three ones, so it's going to be like this, one, three, uh, there's two twos and then one three in the first example. So the hash map's gonna look like this. Um, it's gonna be, the key is gonna be the number that we're currently looking at and the value is gonna be the number of times we see it when we loop through the array. So to fill it up with those values, we just do, okay, num occurrences dot put, the current number is the key. And then we want the value, the count. So if it's already in there, if it's already in the hash map, we do get that number. So we can get the number of occurrences that's already in there. Um, but we use this method or default. So if it's not already in there, we either get the number or we default value zero because we haven't put it in the hash map yet. And then we just add one to whatever that is. Because if it's in there, we get the current count and we add one to it. If it's not, we default to zero and we add one to it and that was the first time we see it. So after this loop, we fill up our hash map with uh, the number and the number of times it occurs in the array. Now we just want to make our hash set um, of integers, we could call it unique vals. And um, in this hash set, we can actually take num occurrences, our map, and just pass it in the constructor with the values only. So this takes the values of our hash set, the counts, the individual, the, the uh, number of occurrences for each of these. So like two, three, two, and one. Um, and it will hash sets only keep unique values. If you guys didn't know that. So this will only keep, you know, if there were two ones, you know, for this, for example, in this case, you know, we saw, um, one and two are both occurring one time. So it would pass those in those values and they're both one, but it'll only keep one of the values. It's only unique values. That's how hash sets work. So if they're all unique, then the num occurrences size so we return num occurrences dot size is equal to unique vals dot size because if they're all unique, then the val the size of the hash set should be the same as the size of the map. So that's the whole problem there. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I think it's pretty self-explanatory, uh, definitely for beginners. So I guess I could see if you guys have any questions. But um, yeah, there's no really avoiding this uh, using space in this problem. It's just kind of an intuition-based thing. There's not a trick here. Um, but yeah, good beginner problem. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, runtime, linear, loop through the array, space, linear. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.